Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the long-awaited what I've bought so far for IVF. Um, I've got a lot of requests on Instagram just to kind of go over everything that I've purchased for IVF. I am not going to be doing my medications just because one, they haven't all got here yet. And two, I thought there's so many of them that that should just be a whole a whole nother video. So instead, this is just gonna be what I've bought thus far in regards to clothing, books, storage, medication, storage, all of that. So let's just go ahead and hop in. So I'm just gonna start with the stuff that completely is random, completely unnecessary, but a couple of things that I bought just to make me feel good. Um, when you're going through IVF, you have a lot of thoughts, you have a lot of emotions, you have a lot of fears, and I would just recommend that if it's within your means, if you're going through IVF, get a little bit of something for yourself. It doesn't matter what it is, whatever makes you happy, just spoil yourself a little bit because you are about to, or you are going through major body changes, major like mind space changes. So do something for yourself. Um, it doesn't have to cost a lot, just whatever makes you happy. So the first thing that I got, I've worn it a couple times now. I got this from Burlington Coat Factory a couple weeks ago. It's really soft, cozy. It says brave as a mother because you kind of have to be brave to go through IVF. Um, so when I saw that, I'm like, I have to, I have to get that. And it was only like $6.99 or $7.99 because it was from Burlington Goat Factory. If you have a Burlington in your area, you should check it out. They have really good prices. The other thing that I got just to kind of spoil myself is this shirt that says, I got this. <laughs> and it might seem completely random and silly, but when you're doing, like I'm on my Lovenox shots right now, and although I've already done Lovenox injections before, they're still daunting, they're still scary, they're still painful. And you know what, every now and then it's a nice reminder to just see that, hey, you've got this. And it's really cozy, so even when I'm done with IVF, I can still wear it as like a night shirt or whatever, I don't know. But I got this one from Target. The next couple things that I want to show you, I have my box here of all of my stuff because there's so much of it. Um, the next thing that I want to show you is a couple of books that I purchased. So in a couple of videos, I have already talked about this website. It's called Thrift Books. Um, if you are a reader, you should definitely check it out. Um, pretty much they sell secondhand books from around the nation. Like some of them have come from, I believe this one here, I'll just show you the first book that I got. This one came from a Goodwill in like Omaha, I want to say. And I've, I'm pretty much, I'm over halfway done with it. And this is just breaking down IVF step by step. It's been really insightful. It's given me a lot of really good advice some tips. And I think I paid $3.99 for it. This is not a sponsored video. I just truly love thrift books. My husband also buys some books from thrift books. It's just a bargain. If you can find a used book, it's like, can you imagine buying this brand new? Like, let's see, like $18. And then when you're done with IVF, just give it away. Instead, you can buy it for like $3.99 from secondhand stores or from thrift books. Read it, get the information you need, and then you don't feel like you wasted a bunch of money. So that's the first book that I got. The other book that I did purchase from Thrift Books, I won't be reading this for a little bit because this is gonna be during my two week wait. So this is gonna be after my transfer. Um, my husband and I are going to be doing a frozen transfer. So we've been told that not only does it give you a better success rate, um, but I don't really have a choice. I do have a blood clotting disorder. So, pretty much my hematologist and my reproductive doctors will not allow me to do a fresh transfer. They want me to get completely off of all of the hormones before they put a baby in me, which is heightening my hormones. So that makes sense. So when you do a frozen transfer, I'll make a whole nother video about this as well, but pretty much when you do a frozen transfer, after they retrieve your eggs, they're gonna freeze for two and a half months. 
So Richard and I are looking at end of June, potentially. So after the transfer, I'll be reading this two week wait. And again, this was like $3.99. I want to say most of their books, some of them on thrift book are brand new and you have to pay full price. Um, others, I don't think I've ever paid more than $3.99 to $5.99 for books. So these are two books that I purchased. The next book isn't like a book for reading, but it's something that I'm actually going to start filling out right after this video since my medications have just started. I got this on Amazon. I purposely got the large print, but it's a weekly medication like log book. I got the big print just because I feel like my handwriting's kind of big and you can like chart your dose amount when you took it, what the medication was. Um, and it, it kind of helps you keep on track because when you do IVF, it's super crucial and important that all your medications are taken precisely at the exact same time every day. Um, and the dosage, since you get your blood drawn like every day, it's going to be a sliding scale for the dosage for my injections. So it's really, really important to just be organized. This, I believe, I will try to link it. I want to say it was like $6 on Amazon. It really was reasonable. And I'm really hoping that this helps chart a lot of my medications and the timing. <laughs> Side note, if you're going through IVF and you have an Alexa, I also told her, oh, she's listening. Alexa, cancel. <laughs> I also told her to remind me to take my medications. And then she also sends an alert on my phone. So again, if you're going through that, that's an idea. Um, to go with this weekly medication tracker book, log book, um, I am a fan of Etsy. I really like Etsy. I like supporting, you know, small businesses who create like completely unique things. Um, I got my husband, he, he likes the Dune books and series and all of that. And I found like a customized t-shirt for Christmas on Etsy from this little workshop for a reasonable price. That was my first like time using Etsy. So now I'm kind of hooked. But the shop that I bought these from is called Expecting Happiness. I'll just put her little card here because I'm really impressed. I don't know if any of you guys want to look this up and buy these as well. But what it is, let me just tell you. So this is IVF planner stickers. So it comes in this really cute envelope. And what I'm going to do on that weekly medication tracker book, let me get some of them out just to show you. I feel like these are going to also help me a lot. Um, like this one says, rest up. This one says, shots, shots, shots. Too bad they're not the other kind of shots, but. Um, this one is blood work and ultrasound. So there's multiples because there's like a week long stretch while I have to go daily for ultrasounds and blood work. Um, here's the egg retrieval one. Um, your beta test, uh, let's see, stims for your stim meds to remind you to take them, um, and so forth. You know, there's a bunch of them and they're really cute. And I paid with shipping, I want to say like $3.99. A lot of Etsy shops, I love stickers personally. A lot of Etsy shops will just send you stickers. Like if you buy a sticker for 99 cents, sometimes the the shipping is completely free. Other times, like shipping's only a dollar. So again, let me just put up her little card here. And this came in another envelope with like just really cute like confetti and good wishes and everything. So I thought that was really, really sweet too. So I wanted to include this in the video because I thought it was really sweet. So that's gonna go with my weekly medication tracker book. Okay. Moving on to the medications. So I got this on Amazon. Again, I will try to link as much as I possibly can. Um, and I will be doing, oh, it's backwards, sorry. I will be doing a whole separate video if you guys want on what medications and supplements that I am taking. I told you that I would track as much of this IVF journey as possible and I'm really trying to hold true to that. So I got this medication box. Um, you don't have to keep it in this big clear box, but it kind of just helps keep these all together. Um, so these come out individually so I can load them. So there is like right when you wake up, morning, afternoon, and then night pills. Um, again, when you are going through IVF, 
the pills that they send you, there's just so many and it's really hard to keep track and it's 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 vital that you maintain a consistent pattern when taking your medications because everything is tracked, everything is logged and they are doing daily blood work and daily ultrasounds on you to see when they can get those sweet little eggies. So I got this, I wanna say, I, I off the top of my head, I don't know, but I wanna say it was like $6. Um, I'm pretty cheap when it comes to stuff like this that I'm gonna like use and then not use when I'm kinda done. So it's affordable, I can tell you that. So I purchased this on Amazon as well. All right, the next thing that I got for my cycle, I got these Rely On alcohol prep strip, or not strips, swabs. So they're just, I think I have some open over here. Let me show you. Just little alcohol swabs to, you know, rub to do my injections. I'm not on my IVF injections yet. Again, that will be another video, but I am on my Lovenox, which is a blood thinning shot because I do have a blood clotting disorder. And when you take a bunch of estrogen and progesterone and hormones, your chances of getting a blood clot is escalated. So to avoid that, they put me on a preventative dose of a blood thinner, which they did um, when I was pregnant with my one or 13 month old Meredith. I was on blood thinners that whole pregnancy as a preventative. Um, and then Noelle, my four year old, I was also on Lovenox going from four months to like three months postpartum because I did actually have three blood clots in that pregnancy. So right now I'm on that birth control pill right now. It has estrogen. And then I'm on my blood thinner. So I got some alcohol swabs and I'm assuming they're gonna be sending with all my injections more. I don't know, but if not, that's fine. I think these were like $1.59 and it's just the Walmart brand. I picked this up yesterday. My Lovenox shots actually don't need a sharps container because um, when they pop out, they like lock in a tube when you're done with them. But I don't know what the IVF injections are gonna be like. I'm not familiar. This was, I, I had to pick up my Lovenox yesterday at Kaiser anyway. So this was like $2.59 for a sharps box. And I figured if my IVF injections, I end up not needing a sharps box, my grandmother is a diabetic and she does use Sharps boxes. So I thought for like the $2 and some change that I would get it just in case. And if I don't use it, it's not going to go to waste. Okay, the next part of this video, I do want to just give a quick heads up. This is a sponsored part of this video. I don't usually do sponsorships, but when it comes to in vitro, Everybody knows like the first thing that comes to their mind with in vitro fertilization is the cost, the expense of it. And so I actually reached out to this company called My Vitro and I let them know that I am a small YouTuber that is about to start in vitro. And this is after I purchased this product with my own money. They did not send this to me, but I did reach out to them because I want to give my subscribers the opportunity to save a little bit of money when, when they can. So I did email them. I said, hey, you know, can I give my subscribers any kind of discount or code or anything? And they responded like immediately and they're like, yes, that would be amazing. So all of that information is going to be in the description box down below. So if you're going through IVF and this next portion of this video interests you, definitely click down and see what deal I got for you guys. All right, so let's get into this. Again, the company is called My Vitro. You could just go to www.myvitro.com and it'll pull it up. And what it is, is a storage. So it's more than a storage container. So like I said previously, it's extremely important to be organized when it comes to knowing when and what dosage of medication you need to be taking. And a lot of the IVF medications from what I've read and I have seen, a lot of the vials look a lot alike and it can get kind of tricky and confusing. So I bit the bullet, I spent the $100 and I got this kit. So it looks like this. I didn't choose the color or anything like that because I know I'm gonna get questions on that. So let me just show you. So it does have like a nice lock. 
I had this out the other day and my four-year-old could not figure out how to open it. So that kind of was reassuring to me. I'm like, oh, that's kind of nice. Not that I would have it down for her to ex access anyway, but it is kind of a nice little extra feature. So you just pop it down like that. I like this blue color. I think it's cute. So anyway, so you go like this and it's going to open up like this. So it comes with these little dividers like so, and you can put them anywhere you want. And when I get my medications, if you follow me on Instagram, LAWCR12, I will try to just post pictures of what my medications look like once I get this filled. But you just fill in with these dividers however you want. And I'm assuming what's gonna happen, let me just take these out. What's gonna happen is, I'm probably gonna put like vials here, needles here, you know, swabs, maybe some extra medications because this is pretty deep. It's really nice. I don't know if I have, here's some of the supplements that I take, like just for reference, maybe put them down there. Maybe keep something like this in here. I don't know. I, I'm sure I'll figure it out once all my meds come, but that's how it folds up. And then to fold it back down, it's so easy. It look, it's like a little tackle box. Um, and I'm sure after in vitro, I'll use this for crafts or whatever else. I don't know. But I thought that was kind of cool. Um, the other thing that they send you is this sweet. So there's a cat. They send you this really sweet card. It says, my body is strong and capable. And then it says, IVF got this with a cute little like in vitro pineapple, just as like a little bit of motivation, which I thought was adorable. Um, here is actually a picture of everything, what it looks like stocked. They send you this little pamphlet like this, just as a thank you for choosing them. It makes it very easy. So they send that. The other thing that they send you, and I just got the basic kit. I know they have other kits that are a little bit more intense. I just got the basic one. Um, they send you two of these little, let me just open one of them. So you can either use it as hot or cold. So they're little gel packs like this. They're really soft on the back. Wow, I didn't realize that. But you can pop it in the microwave or you can pop it in the fridge. I don't think you can freeze them, but put them in the fridge. And then when you're gonna do your injection, whether you prefer hot or cold, it doesn't matter. You just put it on there for like 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and then it helps kind of numb and ease the injection site. Um, for somebody who has done injections, I was doing sometimes two at a time. And in my first pregnancy, I was also diabetic. So I was doing insulin. I wish I would have known about these. My second pregnancy, my OB told me about the ice and that actually did really help. So the fact they send you two of these guys is really, really cool. I, I thought that was really nice. Um, the other thing that my vitro also sends to you is this little portable kit with, you know, the virus going on right now. I'm not traveling or going anywhere, but if you are a businesswoman or you travel a lot, what have you, whatever your instance is, they do send you this little kit here. And it's like that. And it's a travel kit, so you can unzip it. You can open it up. Right here is your sterile pad that you can just wipe down quickly with an alcohol swab. You can put your vials in here. You can put your needles in here. And there you go. You have like a little to-go kit, which I thought was genius because I don't, thinking about it, I don't know how I would store that if I was traveling. So that was really, really cool. Alongside this little pad, the one that is to go, they send you this little prep pad. So again, you're just gonna wanna take one of these little alcohol swabs, give it a good wipe down, and then we'll just pretend this is a needle. <laughs> you can put your needles on here and your vials and you can just use this as a sterile prep pad, which is great. And then on the flip side of it, um, so my IVF clinic, and I'm assuming most, will send you a calendar of all of your medications, all of your ultrasound dates, all of your blood work dates, everything. They're gonna send that to you and you can print it out and highlight it and use your stickers and whatever. And then you can stick it right in this little pouch. And this is like a thick plastic, it's really nice. So you can just use that as your reference for your calendar. 
prep calendar. So that was really nice. The other thing that my vitro sent to me, and I do think you, you have um, the choice in color for this. I thought the blush pink was really great. Um, although I kind of hate it now that all of the YouTube mom sensations are obsessed with this blush pink. Like I genuinely just like the color. I'm not obsessed. I'm not going to paint my kitchen or buy a bunch of useless crap. But anyway, they send you this little bucket. It says my vitro on it. I think you get the choice of this color or like this teal color. And I just thought this was really pretty. Um, it's just a basic like tub. Um, and it does come with a lid like this. And the purpose for this is <clears throat> a lot of my IVF medication that I will be injecting does need to be refrigerated. So this can just slide right into my refrigerator and my husband, my four-year-old, whoever will know that it says my vitro, pretty much don't touch it. That's mommy's meds. So I thought that was pretty, pretty nifty too. The other thing that in vitro or my vitro, excuse me, sends to you with all of the products is a little brief description and a thank you for choosing them, obviously. So they can just, you can read that and reference it. But I thought that even my fertility doctor told me that it's an extremely important step to be organized with all of your medications, organized on paper, organized in the fridge, organized, you know, in your mind. That way you know what you're taking, when you're taking it, set the reminder, set the clock. That way, rest assured, everything is taken when it needs to be and what dose it needs to be. So by the looks of it, that's everything that I have purchased so far for my in vitro fertilization journey. Again, I have also purchased a bunch of supplements that were recommended to me by my um, OBGYN and my fertility doctor. So I do have those that will be a separate video because if I did it in this video, it'd be extremely long and nobody wants that. Nobody cares. <laughs> so with that being said, if you guys have any questions in regards to anything that I just showed you, please feel free to either follow me on Instagram and send me a direct message or just leave me a comment down below. I'm also more active on my community tab, so you can feel free to just leave a comment on any of the comments that I put on there and I'll try to get back to you. Um, and again, thank you, uh, my vitro for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check the link in the description below for a discount code. Um, so if you go on there and buy it, you can use my code and save a little bit of money because who doesn't want to save money? So thank you, my vitro for sponsoring this and partnering with me. I really appreciate it. If you guys liked this video, I would sure appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Share it with somebody you know. If they're going through in vitro, share it. Let them know that, you know, there's a whole community of us out here who are going through the same thing and that it's hard and it's an uphill battle, but we totally got this. So with that being said, I will hope I hope to see you guys in my next one. And yeah, have a great night. Bye.